As a Tanzanian, would you vote for January Makamba if he was to run for president? In light of his recent book, Tanzania Mpia, here are two reasons why I would vote for him. I'm not one to be drawn in by politics. I am looking for leaders who are going to take my country forward. If you look into it, these two reasons to me stand out the most. And this is why I would vote for him if he was to run for president. Reason number one, he's got guts. And reason number two is that he is creative. By putting out this book, he knows that he is inviting public criticism to himself. He knows that people will go through every detail, every word, and try to find uh, mistakes, try to find things that they might perceive as not being truthful. He knows that he will be criticized for it. So he knew all this, but instead of doing what most African leaders do, which is shy away from public criticism and putting yourself out there for people to let you know what they think about you, he embraces that. That is guts. That is my kind of leader. This is a man who is not afraid to speak out his mind and be held accountable for it and be open to criticism. That takes a lot of guts. That's my kind of leader. This is a man who is likely to encourage the people he leads to be part of his leadership. That's my kind of leader. Reason number two, creativity. Tanzania and indeed Africa needs creative problem solving. That's not a secret. Africa is a very unique continent. We need leaders who can look at problems from a different perspective and offer different kinds of solutions. We need leaders who won't be afraid to try different things, try things that have never been done before, to take that risk. We need people like this. We need leaders who will challenge that status quo, not leaders with a that's how it's always been done mentality in this day and age. We need someone who can set a new standard of how things can be done. Why do I think that Makamba is that person? Because he had a problem in this race for presidential elections, whatever you want to call it. He had a problem. And instead of doing what others have in his position have done, which is going out campaigning, throwing out money, etc., he came up with a creative way to deal with his problem a way that has never been seen before in our young democracy a way that is probably going to become a standard from this point onwards by our politicians and he was not afraid to be the first one to do this he was not afraid to stand a chance of maybe being ridiculed or failing this is a sign of a person that is creative enough and trusts his process enough to go through with it. That kind of creativity, that kind of, kind of creative problem solving, that is what this country needs. That is what Africa needs. Of course, as a person from marketing and branding background myself, I can't help but think that he might have had a team of people behind him who because this is this is a brilliant branding move from a bra branding perspective that is even if that's the case it just proves to me that he is capable of surrounding himself with people that are creative enough because after all a president is just as good as the people around him so it just even if it's the case that he's got people that are working on his branding and PR even if that's the case it proves to me that he is capable of surrounding himself with the right people to make the right impact to achieve what he is trying to achieve anyway those are two of my many reasons that i've decided to share and if you've got reasons to vote for or against him or whatever the case might be share them on social media share them make a video of yourself a 30 second video with your phone and upload it to your favorite social network and use the hashtag turns in the MP so we can continue the conversation and we can continue to grow our country until next time cheers bye bye